The Mariana Trench is deeper than anything you could imagine, and when something's that deep, it's easy for stuff to hide inside. Big stuff. And many a marine biologist is deeply haunted by what might be lurking down there, let alone the dark reality. And today, we will all share our anxieties together. These are 20 Mariana Trench creatures that are scarier than Megalodon. Number 20. The Bloop Sea Monster Allow me to ask you this very important question right off the bat. What is more feared than the unknown? After all, isn't that one of the things that keeps us rooted in our routines and not exploring the wide world that's out there? And when it comes to the depths of the oceans, we don't know everything that's out there, and thus, it makes them fearful of what might lie deep within its depths. A great example of this is the bloop sea monster that many wonder about after a mysterious sound was captured by scientists. The bloop is a noise with an ultra-low frequency that was recorded in 1997 in the middle of the Pacific Ocean by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Some people say that it was an unknown sea creature, while others say the sound had been caused by an iceberg that was splitting from Antarctica. An important part of this sound is that it was recorded both above and below the water's surface, which immediately shows that it's not a known creature, as animals like whales do make sounds underwater, but they're typically not heard from the surface unless the whales themselves are up there. As noted, the first sound from the bloop would be recorded in 1997, and then it popped up once again in 2012. So it might have taken 15 years, but we did hear it twice, which means that it was more than just a one-off event. So is it a sea creature that's making this noise? That is the mystery that many people want to figure out, and it's not an easy thing to do if not obvious. There are many who maintain that it's just an ice shelf breaking off or something of the like, but others are not so convinced that that's the case. If there is something out there that has made this sound, and it can project it over 5,000 kilometers away, then it's something that could very well make the Megalodon look tame. Or it could even be Cthulhu, and if that's the case, then we're all screwed. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. What's more scary than a piranha? Well, a massive piranha. This is the ancient mega piranha, and while I know for sure that way back then these gnarly beasts stalked the seas, the only thing that's ever been found is their bones. It's said that they've been extinct for eons, but there may be a chance that one or more is still alive hiding somewhere. And if they are hiding, the Mariana Trench would be the place, and some people have even suggested that they're certain there are some that are down there. One marine biologist claimed that he saw a shadow of what he thinks could be nothing more than the mega piranha when reviewing some footage from the trench, and this image mocks up how big that said piranha would be based on the shadow that was reported. If his guess is correct, we should pray the thing stays down there, because while a normal piranha can eat a person, this thing looks like it could eat an entire planet. As always, you can let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below by using the hashtag SweetTopic. Number 19. Deep Sea Anglerfish When it comes to scariness, size honestly doesn't always matter. Yes, plenty of giant creatures are scary, but there are some small ones out there that are terrifying in all the ways that matter. Case in point, you might fear a shark when you're in the water, but you're always looking out for things like bees and hornets because you don't want to get stung. In the depths of the ocean, as in the Mariana Trench, there resides a small but scary looking creature known as the deep sea anglerfish, and it's the stuff of nightmares. So much so that Disney even used this creature in Finding Nemo to scare the junk out of its main characters and the audience that was watching. Happy feeling gone. In terms of size, it's only 18 centimeters long at most, 
and you'll likely never see one on the surface because it lives over 2,000 meters below sea level. That's actually to its advantage, though, given its hunting style. It lives so deep within the ocean that sunlight can't reach the area, and due to that, animals have come up with their own ways of surviving without light or creating their own. In the case of the deep sea anglerfish, it has a protrusion on its head that can emit a bulb of light, since fish at that depth don't see the light all that often. And they're naturally drawn to it, as they'll focus on that light, and the deep sea anglerfish comes up close and then devours them with its long teeth. But that's not even the most scary part of it all. The deep sea anglerfish that you'll see 99 out of 100 times are the females because they're the bigger gender. The males, by comparison, are tiny, and when they want to mate with a female, they'll basically fuse together. Yeah, that's even more terrifying than any shark in the ocean. Number 18. The Frilled Shark now, there will be a shark or two on this list simply because while the megalodon was the most feared thing in the depth during its day, that's not to say that the sharks of the modern day aren't to be feared as well. And when it comes to the frilled shark, it's scary simply because it doesn't look like any shark that you would recognize. They're what are known as a living fossil because their species have existed for millions of years and they haven't really evolved that much, which if you think about it, is kind of a contradiction because you would expect a creature to move on in some ways and grow to better adapt to their surroundings. But with the frilled shark, it's not the case. And because of this, they look more like an eel than they do a shark. I mean, seriously, look at their leathery bodies and how they don't have a fin on their tops, like every shark species that you know. Furthermore, when it comes to swimming, they do so in an eel-like fashion and not like any other sharks. When it comes to hunting, they're as scary as a shark should be. They're active predators and may lunge at potential prey, swallowing it whole, even if it is quite large. And that's why they're going to want to end things in one shot, and it means plenty of prey are on its list. Going back to the first entry, there's a lot of fear of the unknown with the frilled shark because it lives at such a depth that it's rarely ever filmed and thus hardly ever studied. To that end, nobody honestly knows their ecology, their population numbers, and more. It might be better that way, though, because it also means we won't be learning much about them soon. Number 17. The Fang Tooth Fish Sometimes it's not about the size of the creature, but the size of their terrifying teeth that dig into their prey. Enter the fangtooth fish. The fangtooth gets its name from its rather impressive looking teeth, which are actually the largest teeth of any fish in the ocean when taken in proportion to their body size. That also means it has teeth that are ready to carve things up and it knows it. The irony, though, is that they're rather small fish, measuring in at only about 16 centimeters, so they're not a big threat to humans, but you really shouldn't let them bite you. Plus, it's also scary that they can be found basically all over the world, in both shallow and deep waters, depending on the situation. They can be found anywhere from about 200 meters below the surface to over 5,000 meters below. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is called range. Number 16. Giant Squid now, there are plenty of monsters in the depths that have gotten people spooked over the generations, and you could argue that the giant squid is one of the most legendary of them all in the deep, simply because of how many stories they've crafted. Easily, the scariest part about them would be their size. They can be at least 13 meters long, and I say at least because that's the largest one that scientists have been able to personally measure. There are many who would speculate that they can actually grow many meters taller, and because they live in the depths, it's not easy to get one to the surface to check out. Many of those giant squids that have been found is simply because they've washed up on the beach, which no doubt has terrified many people when it's occurred. And when you hear how great they are at hunting, it may well give you the chills, giant squid can snatch prey up of about 10 meters away simply by shooting out two feeding tentacles, which are tipped with hundreds of powerful shark tooth suckers. These feeding tentacles are quite long, often doubling the total length of the giant squid on their own. And once that prey is ensnarled in the tentacles, they're slowly drawn towards the beak, 
where their final resting place lies. And trust me, if you do get close enough to a giant squid to see its beak, you are more than likely in trouble and already dead. Just as scary, though, are the legends about them. This is one of those creatures that has inspired the legend of the Kraken, because sailors feared that these tentacled beasts would rise up from the depths and sink their boats without any issue. To an extent, they could sink a small boat, but probably not one that's made out of metal. Then again, nobody can say for certain that the Kraken doesn't exist, now can they? Number 15. Deep Sea Dragonfish now here's another creature that is incredibly deadly and yet also incredibly small. It's the deep sea dragonfish, and they can be about 26 meters at times but can also be around 15, and yet when you look at them up close, you cannot deny that they're freaky looking and that you don't want them nibbling on you. What may be the scariest thing about them though is the barrel that they have by their mouth. The tip of this barrel can be illuminated through a chemical process known as bioluminescence. This is dangled right in front of their mouth, and as soon as a poor, unsuspecting creature comes too close, that's when the attack is launched and the victim is then devoured. So much like the anglerfish, they will use light and darkness in combination in order to get their food. It is a rather vicious and scary process. Number 14. The Stonefish what does it mean to be scary? Well, to many, it's having an intimidating appearance that can chill you to the bone. But another thing that can make an entity scary is that simply touching them can spell some doom for you. Now, there are many venomous creatures in the deep that are scary, but few are as lethal as the stonefish. The stonefish is the most venomous fish in all of the ocean, and many people have died after becoming stung by one. That's not an exaggeration either. For example, in Australia, there are almost 1,000 stings reported by the stonefish every single year. And if you think about it, it means that there could be almost 1,000 victims of this single fish, and all it has to do is sting them to cause it. Before you go panicking, though, there is an antivenom for the stonefish, but that doesn't make it any less terrifying. Here's where we have a bit of the good news, bad news scenario. The good news is that the stonefish does not seek out humans to attack them. In fact, they're ambush predators, preferring to let the prey come to them. The bad news, though, is that they're masters of camouflage, which also means that a stonefish could be right near you, and you would never know it until it was possibly too late. So even if you do think that you've been stung by the fish, you're going to need to get out of the water and seek treatment, because you'll know you're in trouble when your body begins screaming in pain. The venom is so strong that it can literally stop your heart. And one of the ironies of the stonefish is that, not unlike the pufferfish, there are some nations that actually like to eat the fish. They simply cook the venom out of it and dine like there's nothing wrong. This is why I fear for humanity at times. Number 13. Deep Sea Hatchetfish You're going to notice that a lot of these creatures have deep sea in their names. Furthermore, some of these fish do have a great range, so that name could be a misnomer at times. Regardless, this is one freaky fish because of how it uses light. And no, it doesn't use it to lure fish to them so that they can be eaten. It's quite the opposite, actually. They use a skill called counter-illumination. Essentially, their organs will emit that light to shield them from view by predators below. If you think of it like this, just imagine that you were above someone and you could shine a light down on them to make it look, from their perspective, that they were looking up at the sky above you instead. You'd be invisible to their sight, and that's what the hatchet fish does. How did it learn such a useful skill? Well, I simply choose not to ask such questions. Number 12, Atlantic Wolffish. Atlantic wolffish are a special fish because they're named after wolves, and wolves are amazing. But seriously, people looked at the teeth of this aquatic creature, and that's when they realized that it had a kind of wolf's scowl, and thus they named it the wolffish. In spite of their slightly ferocious appearance and large teeth, the Atlantic wolffish is not aggressive. They feed on slow-moving or sedentary prey, such as sea urchins, crabs, mollusks, and large snails. And so what makes the fish scary? Well, it's all about how you survive in these waters. 
The wolffish is so adaptable that it can actually survive in zero degrees Celsius. They have literal antifreeze in their blood, which helps them to survive the cold. Now, there are actually many fish species that have that special ability, which just goes to show you how evolution can help a fish to survive in a region that you would think they would instantly die in. Number 11. Barrel Eye Fish Now, as I noted before, there are many different definitions of scary that could get creatures onto this list. But when it comes to the barrel eye fish, they have an evolutionary adaptation that makes them arguably weirder than just about any fish out there. But how so? Well, the fact becomes most obvious through the viewing of these fish's heads. I mean, the upper part of their heads are transparent, and through that, the fish almost always has its eyes facing upwards so that it can see the shadows of its prey or predators and react accordingly. It can also apparently move its eyes forward, which makes it even more freakier. And this is one of those fishes where you can't help but ask, how did it evolve to be like this? Nobody honestly knows, but it clearly works for them, given that they keep this ability through each cycle of their life. Number 10, the Goblin Shark. We now return to the shark part of the ocean where we talk about one of the most horrifying things ever conceived. Yes, I know I could say that about many of the creatures on this list, but trust me, when it comes to the goblin shark, it very well deserves it. First, just look at the freaky thing. Does it look like a creature that you'd really want to mess with? Secondly, it's a rather long shark on average, as it can be three to four meters in length, which is more than enough to size up a human should they ever meet in the depths. And while they do live in the Mariana Trench at times, they've also been seen in as little as 100 meters below sea level. So you should be careful out there. But if I'm going to talk about why the thing is so scary compared to the Megalodon, well, that's when you have to talk about its feeding habits. When it has prey that it wants to eat, it doesn't simply just bite the fish as you would expect. Oh no, that would be much too simple. Instead, it actually extends its mouth outside of its body and grabs the food that way. Yes, just like a xenomorph. Perhaps you understand how freaky that is. This tactic alone raises so many questions that just has to make you wonder what other depraved creatures have this kind of monstrous ability. Because even the Megalodon didn't have a need for such a feature. It just simply ate everything in sight and then called it a day. And when you have to act like an alien just to get a bite to eat, well, you're freaky and I don't want to talk about you anymore. Number 9. The Gulper Eel when you first see a gulper eel, you may not be all that impressed. They look like any other eel, they're only about a meter in length at max, and they don't appear to have any kind of special features that could help them to stand out from the rest of the aquatic world. But once you get to their mouth, that's when you're going to notice very quickly how they get their name. Because when they want to eat, they're not exactly afraid to expand their mouths to a massive proportion that frankly will boggle your mind. In this footage of a gulper eel in action, you'll see that it almost looks like a balloon as it eats. They basically just fill up their mouths with water for the extra size, and then they'll use that extra girth to swallow their prey whole. So, in a way, they're kind of like pelicans. Weird and long and black colored deep sea pelicans. <laughs> Number eight, the vampire squid. Now, if you thought that the giant squid would be the only one to make this list, well, you would be wrong, because now I'm going to show you a terrifying squid that also has the ability to suck your blood while you roam the depths. <laughs> no, not really, but oh, that'd be terrifying if it were true. The real reason that it's called the vampire squid and why it's scary is that because when you look at it from the outside, it may look like a simple squid with unique skin around its tentacles. But when you look on its inside of the bottom part, you're going to notice that those tentacles have spines that it uses to grab its prey. Cute on the outside, deadly on the inside, and the ultimate predator trick. Number seven, the sarcastic fringe head. When you're in the depths, 
and you know that a predator is coming at you, you only have a few options to escape with your life. You can either attack them and hope that you beat them back, you can flee and hope that you get away, or you can intimidate them and make them think that you're a whole lot more dangerous than you actually are. The last option is the trademark of the sarcastic fringe head. This fish is not unlike a certain lizard on the surface that looks small when you see it from afar, but then when they get aggressive, they'll open up their mouths and expand their necks to try and have a bigger appearance. When two fringe heads have a territorial battle, they wrestle by pressing their distended mouths against each other. They press against each other until one of them is able to bite the other's head. Wow, what a whole lot of fun that is. Number six, the lion's mane jellyfish. Now it's actually a little surprising that I haven't talked about a jellyfish before now, because there are plenty of them in the ocean that would fall under the banner of scarier than the megalodon, simply because of their sting. And when it comes to the lion's mane jellyfish, there's a whole lot more than its sting that you'll have to worry about. You see, this jellyfish has a length of over 40 meters, And I mean that as just the tentacles are 40 meters long. It also means you're going to need to include the body in the rest of the measurement. Perhaps you'll understand how big that is. It means that as you're swimming through the water, you could collide with its tentacles, and then the body of the jellyfish would be a long ways away, not even realizing that you were even in its reign. But don't worry, even if you are stung by this jellyfish, it is not exactly deadly, but it will hurt a whole lot. Using the powerful sting of its tentacles, the lion's mane jellyfish catches small fishes, tiny crustaceans, and even other jellyfish in order to satisfy its diet. Oh, and here's another scary fact for you. The tentacles of the lion's mane jellyfish can still sting you even after they've detached from the body, and even when the jellyfish is dead. In fact, it's said that a single lion's mane jellyfish can sting up to 50 people in one day, despite the jellyfish's body being found dead later on. They just love to sting you, even if they don't mean to. Number five, headless chicken monster. There are so many jokes that I could make here, but I'm getting close to the end and I'm not exactly going to do that. No, I'm not scared to make the jokes. Don't call me chicken. The headless chicken monster is a deep sea swimming cucumber <laughs> I know, that looks like a decapitated chicken, hence the name. Now, seriously, when you look at the thing, you may think that you're looking at a roaming piece of meat, but no, it's actually a living thing, for better or for worse. And another freaky thing about it, it doesn't have any bones, but it does have muscles, and it uses them to barely have the functions to keep itself alive. Sometimes you just have to wonder why things even exist in the first place. Number four, the giant oarfish. Now I've mentioned on this list that there are certain creatures of myth that people have learned to fear over time, but another common tale is people seeing a creature of the deep and thinking, well, that's not real. That's the story of the giant oarfish, a terrifying creature that was so monstrous in its appearance that when it was first brought to man's shores and shown to scientists, they actually thought that it was a hoax. On average, the giant oarfish has been found to be about three meters in length. However, the largest one ever caught and measured was more than around 12 meters, which is quite the difference. It is the largest of the bony fish, and it shows. Sadly, though, it does not show itself all too often. And to that end, they like to live over a thousand meters below sea level, which is why people don't really see them that much. It also makes it yet another creature that we don't know much about because we don't know too much about its life cycle, how it works in the water, and more. We only seem to find out more about these creatures when they wash up on the beach, and that's when we get to study them. But not that scientists don't mind. They love to research these things and have even studied some juveniles in the lab. Because of how little is known about them though, they're yet another creature that could be more endangered than we may realize, and that's a scary thought in its own right. Number three, the ocean sunfish. 
Do you ever look at a creature and say, uh, is that from a movie? Only to be amazed that it's actually real? Well, the ocean sunfish is one such creature that a lot of divers have come up close and personal with and are blown away by the very real creature that it is. For example, it's a fish that is huge and yet is also incredibly thin. It's only about three meters long, weighing in at over 2,000 kilograms, and yet it has a tiny set of eyeballs and mouth that makes it look like a children's creation more than a natural creature of the ocean. It's known to travel the water at a decent clip, and it's not afraid to pick up passengers, and by that, I mean parasites. Number 2. The Japanese Spider Crab Crabs are not typically a creature that you would openly identify as being scary in the traditional sense. Yes, they can be scary when they grip onto you with their pinchers and threaten to rip your finger off, but plenty more think of them simply as the seafood they like to enjoy. However, if you want to look at a crab that many people think are scary, you only need to look at the Japanese spider crab. This crab is one that's much larger than many of those out there by a wide margin. They're so huge, in fact, that they can measure four meters from the tip of one front claw to the other. That will dwarf any other crab by multiple factors. In fact, the first man who had caught this crab off the coast of Japan was so amazed by its size that he called it Crabzilla. Now yes, these creatures are not found in the Mariana Trench as they don't go below 550 meters, but they can also be right near the surface of the water which is why they're seen on a regular basis in Japan. Sure, they may not be as terrifying as Megalodon in the traditional sense, but you do have to wonder how a crab goes from the more compact yet strong version that we often see on the beaches of the world and then somehow becomes this behemoth in a place like Japan. Number 1. Moray Eels when people think of eels, they tend to think of the electric variety that inhabits the Amazon, but to those that know the moray eel, they know that it can be equally as frightening and deadly without the need for any kind of superpowers. For example, it can come in a variety of colors, which will often get them mistaken for sea snakes. Another trait that they have is that they have poor eyesight, However, they make up for that with an acute sense of smell that is so powerful they can even track prey after they've hidden just by their scent alone. And so, if this eel catches your scent, well, you're not getting away if it has its way, and their hunting methods will go well beyond simply smelling and finding. Although they're solitary creatures, they will often hunt alongside the grouper fish. While researchers are unsure how exactly they collaborate or communicate in their hunting strategy, it seems that it begins with a head nod to one another. They work jointly to corral their victim into a tight group when hunting, and that kind of teamwork is rare amongst different species of the animal kingdom. Could you simply imagine if the Megalodon was able to hunt in groups, perhaps even with the giant squid? Nothing would have been able to stop them then. So let's be glad that this evolutionary trait never manifested. That's all from the realm of the Mariana Trench and the creatures of the deep that may be arguably scarier than the Megalodon. Do you agree that some of these creatures are as scary as that ancient shark? And if so, which ones? Or perhaps you know of another aquatic creature that could measure up. Let me know about it in the comments down below. Be sure to check out all of the other cool things that are showing up on the screen right now. And I will see you next time.